If you're new to industrial automation, you're probably learning lots of new jargon and acronyms. Today we're going to talk about one of those acronyms, HMI. What is an HMI? HMI stands for Human Machine Interface. The term HMI applies to any screen or dashboard that allows users in an industrial plant or facility to interact with and monitor their machines and processes. HMIs come in a variety of different forms, from screens built directly into the machines themselves, to regular computer monitors, even tablets. HMIs are an essential resource for users in industrial settings to monitor and control their processes, diagnose problems, and just gain insight into mechanical and industrial processes. Think about the heating and air conditioning system inside your home. In this case, the thermostat is like an HMI. You interact with the thermostat in order to monitor and control the machines that are providing heat and ventilation for your house. In an industrial setting, an HMI is used in a similar manner, showing operators things like the speed of a conveyor belt, or whether a valve is opened or closed, or the temperature of something inside of a tank. They can also be used to change that speed, or open that valve, or alter the set point of the desired temperature for the tank. HMIs are used by all sorts of industrial organizations in basically every industry. Industries like oil and gas, or water and wastewater, automotive manufacturing, food and beverage, recycling systems, and many more. In those organizations, people in many different roles will interact with the HMI. For example, operators, supervisors, control systems integrators, and staff engineers. In order to function, the HMI needs to be connected to the machines and processes that it's providing an interface for. Usually, the HMI will do this by connecting to a programmable logic controller, or PLC. The PLC is then connected to sensors that are embedded inside the machines or processes and can detect things like temperature, speed, pressure, weight, and many other types of data. The HMI receives this data from the PLC and then displays it on screen in a graphical way. The HMI can use things like numerical readouts, charts, pictures of the process to turn the data into graphical information. This allows users of the HMI to look at the HMI and understand what their process is doing. They can see which machines are running, what's the progress of the process, how efficiently is everything running, are there any alarms that need to be addressed, and many other types of information. The PLC is also controlling the process, so through the HMI, the operators can control the process through the PLC. This means that they can perform actions like starting and stopping machines and batches, changing recipes, updating set points, and any other type of control they might need to do. HMIs are often touchscreens, which means that a modern HMI can eliminate the need for physical buttons and switches in an industrial facility. Some HMIs allow for remote monitoring, which enables control systems engineers to use the HMI using a mobile device. This mobility helps people be more efficient and remain aware of what's going on in the process from far away. This is particularly useful in industries that are spread apart geographically, for example, oil or water well sites. Using remote monitoring and mobile capabilities, a supervisor can stay up to date with what's happening in the process, even if they're miles away. HMIs are often integrated with other industrial systems as well, for example, SCADA systems, or edge of network data collectors, or the cloud. Ignition by Inductive Automation is a powerful software solution for rapidly developing high-performance HMIs that optimize operator efficiency. If you want to see more videos about Ignition, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel.